my friends how are you today welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to the fam my name is Ina and I'm a makeup artist and photographer in Central Florida today as you can tell we're going to be doing this makeup look I know it's not Halloween time however I've been feeling extra inspired so I decided to bring you some fun makeup looks to kind of spice up the day by the way all the products that I'm going to be used today is going to be linked in the description box other than that let's get into it First, I'm gonna prep my skin with a Dr. Brand Pores No More Primer. I love this one because it minimizes my scarring and the pores all over my face. For the foundation today, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade 110. I love this foundation because it has a really good coverage and at the same time has a satin finish and it doesn't look too cakey. Even though I have an oily skin, I do tend to go back to this foundation over and over again. I really, really like it. If you have drier normal skin, I strongly suggest you to give it a try. You are gonna absolutely love it. For my brows, I'm using Milani Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. This one definitely reminds me of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It has that micro tip to which helps kind of create the baby hairs and fill in the shape if you need so. If you're in a budget, just give it a go. You won't regret it. To prime my eyes today, I'm going to be using a Sigma Ignite. I really like this one because it doesn't dry out really quickly and it gives me enough time to kind of blend in and apply the eyeshadows without getting patchy and it definitely intensify all the colors I'm using. This one definitely have been my go-to eyeshadow primer lately. Then with a synthetic flat brush, I am just at blending out the edges, sure that it's all uniform and there are no hard edges. For this look today, I'm going to be using House Laboratory's Stupid Love Eyeshadow Palette. I finally got a hold of it, so we're gonna use just this palette to make the entire look. The shade, in my mind, I am just packing it on my crease. It doesn't have to be ideal because we are going to blend it out. Then with a the shade sign, I'm going to blend it on top of the shade, my mind. And also I am going to contour my nose with this one. All I'm doing is packing it on top and then whatever is left on my brush, I am just um, dragging it outwards or inwards in a windshield motion to make that smoke type effect. To cut the crease today, I'm using the face paint from Creolan in the white. This way we're gonna intensify the white shadow as well. This one has more of like a grease texture. I really like better the grease texture ones because once you're setting it with the eyeshadow, it stays in, it doesn't move. Compared to if you use anything that is watercolor, a little bit of um, tears will literally destroy your makeup. So I'm not a fan of watercolor based um, face paints to use around my eyes because I do have sensitive uh, eyes and they do tend to water pretty often. Now this look is all about the lines, so I'm trying to create another line in the middle. That's okay if it's not perfect because we can clean it up uh, afterwards. I am just packing the shade sign in the middle in between. Create an illusion that we have three lines. Then with 911, I'm going to go ahead and pack on top of the grease paint to intensify the white to make it pop. For that, I'm using an angled brush and I'm just packing the eyeshadow on top of it. This way, I'm cleaning up the edges and make the lines look a lot sharper. And with Sigma Liquid Eyeliner Wicked, I am doing my eyeliner, but also I'm going to be tracing three lines in three different directions. With BH Cosmetics Power Pencil in the shade Glamour Foster a Silver, I'm going to apply it on my waterline and then at the lower lash area to kind of visually open up and make the eyes a lot bigger. Next with the eyeliner, I'm trying to trace the line along the white paint that we just painted around the lower uh, part of the eye. It doesn't have to be perfect as we're going to apply eyeshadow on top of it, but that will be like a little to where the eyeshadow starts to blend outwards. 
and then I'm packing the shadow of my mind along the line that we just created. The reason why I'm using a darker shade before I apply the blue, that normally intensifies and darkens the blue a little bit more. So that's the only reason why I apply a darker color before I apply the blue color on top. This way we have that gradient be between a, like a deeper blue and a more of like a beautiful a blue, lighter blue. And of course, next we're going to top it off with the shadow sign. All I'm doing is just packing it on. Next, we're going to be applying lashes. Now I have two choices of lashes. First one is cat eye style, more of like a dramatic. And the second pair is more of like an round one, if you know what I'm talking about. They're more like shorter on the corners, both sides. Now, remember on the lower side, you want to apply them upside down for more of like a realistic effect. To do the, all the lines around the eye, I use the same Creolon face, the grease one, a paint. Now make sure to powder your face before you do this, especially if you're oily, to make sure that your foundation is going to last all day. Now I'm not doing anything special at this point, just uh, tracing the lines with the eyeliner, a brush from Sigma. I love it because it's so tiny. You can start with little lines and then just thicken them up as you go. To contour my face, I'm going to use the shade Replay and I'm going to apply it all over where I normally contour my face. For my neck and chest, I used water activated face painting. I started with the blue and then added purple and then I decided to intensify it because it was not dark enough. I decided to add a little bit of black into it as well to make it more of like a night kind of mood. This water activated kit is actually for kids and it's non toxic, non hypoallergenic and so on. So if you guys want to get one, I'll leave it. Uh, in the description box. And I am topping it off with some glitter I got from BH Cosmetics. To highlight my face, I'm using the Naked Cosmetics, the highlighter palette. I must say this highlighter palette is bomb. If you're looking for something really intense, this would be your palette. It's so good. Now to paint the big star on my chest, I'm using the Creolon, the grease paint. I feel like it has a little more intensity and pigment and it will last longer. So all I'm doing is just with the eyeliner brush, I am tracing the lines. In the center, I'm adding a stone, a rhinestone, and I am gluing it in with lash glue. From my experience, I feel like lash glue does the job. For my lips, I am using the same eyeshadow that I used on my eyes, to which is sign. And on the center of my lips, I'm adding that grease paint, the same from a Creolan, and kind of smear it around and blend it with the blue. To create the moon, I'm starting with the crease from um, the face paint from the Creolan, taking my time with little strokes. And then topping it off with the eyeshadow enemy. The grease uh, in this case acts like a base, so it makes the eyeshadow more intense and colorful. Popping a few more uh, rhinestones and pretty much that's it. I'm trying to make this a series, so I'm gonna bring you every week something new. Let me know in the comments what would you like me to bring next. Other than that, thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, ladies.